The Near-Earth Object Camera is a proposed space-based infrared telescope designed to survey the Solar System for potentially hazardous asteroids. NEOCAM would survey from the Sun-Earth L1 Lagrange point, allowing it to look close to the Sun and see objects inside Earth's orbit. NEOCAM would be the successor of the NEOWISE mission. The principal investigator is NEOWISE's principal investigator, Amy Meinzer of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Proposals for NEOCAM were submitted in 2006, 2010, and 2015 to the NASA Discovery Program, but it has not been selected for launch. Topic Overview. The primary scientific goal of NEOCAM is to discover and characterize the orbit of most of the potentially hazardous asteroids larger than 140 meters (460 feet) over the course of its four-year mission. NEOCAM's field of view would be large enough to allow the mission to discover tens of thousands of new NEOs with sizes as small as 30 meters (98 feet) in diameter. Secondary science goals include detection and characterization of approximately 1 million asteroids in the asteroid belt and thousands of comets, as well as identification of potential NEO targets for human and robotic exploration. In 2016, the NEOCAM team proposed to launch in 2021 and find two thirds of missing objects in the larger than 140 m category within four years. Funding Although Congress mandated NASA in 2005 to achieve by the year 2020 specific levels of search completeness for discovering, cataloging, and characterizing dangerous asteroids larger than 140 meters (460 feet), Act of 2005, HR 1022, 109th, no new funds were appropriated for this effort. NASA has not prioritized this mandate and repeatedly directed the NEOCAM project to compete for funds against science missions unrelated to planetary defense and disaster mitigation. Navigation planning. Proposals for NEOCAM were submitted in 2006, 2010, and 2015 to the NASA Discovery Program. In 2010, NEOCAM was selected to receive technology development funding to design and test new infrared detectors optimized for asteroid and comet detection and sizing. On 30 September 2015, the Discovery Program advanced NEOCAM along with other four candidate missions for refinement during the next year, with each mission receiving $3 million for a one-year study. Although it was not successful in the January 2017 selection, it was given an additional year of development funding. NEOCAM remains a concept study phase A, and there are calls to fund the mission from somewhere besides NASA's Planetary Science Division, perhaps from the Planetary Defense Program or directly from Congress itself since it is a public safety issue. <laughs> Scientific payload The primary instrument is a 50 cm in infrared telescope operating in two wavelengths, 4 to 5.2 micrometers and 6 to 10 micrometers, with a large field of view of 11.56 square degrees. It would use a modified version of a mercury cadmium telluride detector called the HGCDTE Astronomical Wide Area Infrared Imager, Hawaii, developed by Teledyne Imaging Sensors, the mission prototype of which was successfully tested in April 2013. The detector array would be 2048 times 2048 pixels and produce 82 gigabits of data per day. The detector has good infrared performance without the use of cryogenic fluid refrigeration. It would be passively cooled to 30 K minus 243 degrees Celsius minus 406 degrees Fahrenheit using techniques proven by the Spitzer Space Telescope. The spacecraft would operate in a halo orbit around the Sun-Earth L1 point and employ a sun shield. This orbit would allow fast data downlink speeds to Earth, allowing full-frame images to be downloaded from the telescope. Images See also Discovery Program finalists with this mission Da Vinci, a proposed Venus entry probe Lucy spacecraft, a planned asteroid flyby mission. Psyche spacecraft, a planned asteroid orbiter. Veritas spacecraft, a proposed Venus orbiter. Neo's search projects B612 Foundation, an organization that studied NEOs and proposed a similar mission. Near Earth Object Surveillance Satellite, a Canadian small satellite intended to detect NEOs. 
The Spaceguard Foundation, an organization that attempts to locate NEOs Whipple spacecraft, a proposed space telescope in the Discovery Program Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, a ground-based NEO detection system started by NASA at the end of 2015 Topic. References Topic. External links Neocam website by Caltech